Hey, F5 community, Aubrey here with Dev Central, and I'm going to show you something that's kind of new to me. I'm going to, to try and, and help you to get N8N installed and just go through the process the first time so that you can get set up to the point where you're ready to start your workflow. All right. So first of all, I want to show my, um, you know, my N8N implementation, if you will. This is it. <laughs> You can't really do anything with it, right? Um, so when you get this installed, it will re it will run on your local host. This is being done on a MacBook, and uh, so it is formatted to Mac. Uh, since the entire thing is done with Node, I think you could probably figure out how to do the same thing on Windows. Um, who knows? I may end up trying to get another video done with Windows, but um, I'm, between you and me, I'm a little doubtful. So note that it runs on port five six seven eight, which I think is kind of fun. You know, um, so let's figure out how to get going. First of all, we have to light this thing up, right? If I reload this, nothing is running on here. Site cannot be reached. Okay. So I'm going to take you through what I did to get this thing installed, which is simple. And then I'm going to fire it up for you for a first, uh, for a first run. And then we're going to do this together. I have not completed this section, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to get going and we'll see how it goes okay so all right first let me get this out of here and then i am going to share so as i bring my terminal up here uh i wish i hope you can see here the, the thing that's really the most important bit is that you have node installed and nvm installed uh, but node has to be at a very specific version you need it at version 22. so if you install node today just by, uh, and this is with Homebrew, by the way, I did uh, the Node and NVM installs. Um, I did not install N8N with Homebrew because the package appears to be broken somehow. So if you install Node right now in Homebrew, it will install version 24. 24 is too new, N8N doesn't work with it. Um, so before you do your NPM install, as we're using Node Package Manager, um, before you do your N NPM install, you're going to need Node 22 installed. So homebrew install Node at 22. That will go ahead and install Node JS version 22 on your Mac, ready to go. Um, it should install NVM. If it doesn't, go ahead and homebrew install NVM. It doesn't have to be a specific version um, to the best of my knowledge. Once you're done with that fancy command, then you can go ahead and do an npm install dash g for global because you don't want to have to be root every time you run this so npm install dash g and eight n this will go ahead and use node package manager to install all prerequisites make sure that everything is up and functional and running on your machine so what we're going to do now is we're just going to fire up n8n and like cool in the gang get down on it Okay, so all you have to do, N8N. And you can see that it starts actually moving stuff forward. Um, and pow, editor is now accessible via HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 5678. So let's switch to my browser and we'll take a look there. We can clearly see that I have this site can't be reached exactly as I showed you at the beginning of the video. So we're going to reload this and see where it takes us. Aha, there we go. And I've already got an account, it, it would appear. So if I look at my settings, I'm clearly on the community edition. So the only thing that I did to register my account was enter an email. Now I've got the, the community edition. So if I look at my personal information, that's my usage and plan, I can unlock selected paid features for free, right? So if I go ahead and, and check that out. I've got workflow history, advanced debugging, execution, search, and tagging, and I can do stuff in folders if I want to. Um, look at that. Get paid features for free forever. So I'm going to send me a free license key right now. So my license key is on the way. I'm going to check my email in another screen, which it would appear it has already come in. My free N8N license key. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And there was an activate your key link there. So here I am. It brings me right in to the exact same place I was. And uh, if I enter my activation key, here I go. Paste it. 
Oh, so it interesting. So if I click the activate link on the email, it automatically activates with my activation key that it sent me. Fantastic. So I'm going to close out that initial tab and just stay here. So now I can take a look at N8N. If I go through the settings, just my personal stuff, this is me, my email address, I can change my password, uh, I can enable two-factor authentication, and I can select the light or dark themed. So I'm one of those weird people. I like the light theme, so that's fine. Back to users, this is it. It's just me. Um, can create additional users if you have a, an official license key. I can create an API key here. I have the ability to create external secrets. Um, and I have the ability to use multiple instances and uh, I can deploy via a Git repository, which I will definitely be doing soon. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to get that uh, going together with N8N, I think. Can enable single sign-on with SAML, which is fantastic, but I need to get an enterprise plan for that. There is LDAP as well, and uh, I can also enable log streaming. Plus, there are community nodes that I can install if I want to. Um, these are some pretty interesting things. So if I go ahead and browse these community nodes, you can see that I've got tons of tons of nodes that are already made by the community in N8N. So here's uh, MCP. If you want to be working with MCP nodes and uh, a bunch of other things that are cool. So you're going to have to get the community nodes that you want. Look at that. DeepSeek as a node. There we go. I'm going to have to install that for sure. But this is the beginnings of it. So I've already got that installed. And now the next thing I'm going to be working on is creating a workflow. More on that soon.